So today I need to do some freezer organizing. So I thought it would be a good chance to also give you a bit of a freezer tour because you guys wonder, why do we have five freezers and what do we even keep in them? Do we have five freezers, Hamish? Yeah, we do. We have a lot of freezers and two fridges, but it's all for a good purpose, I promise. So I need to do some organizing and I'm gonna show you what's all in them. Today is not gonna be like your super detailed written out freezer inventory. You're just gonna get a rough idea of what's in each freezer. My job today is simply to make sure things are supposed to be where they're supposed to be. Like right now, there's hot dogs in the fruit freezer and there's fish in the red meat freezer and those just things need to be sorted out. You're not getting like a detailed list, but you're gonna get a really good idea on what we have. The first freezer you get to meet, this is our fruit and vegetable freezer. Ooh, tripping on chickens. Dead chickens. So this is a just about full size freezer. This is a full size six foot freezer. This one's like five or so feet. So it's pretty big, but it's not quite a full size one. So in here, I took the baskets out already. We have, oh cat, you get out of here cat. Um, this box is all full of frozen broccoli from the garden. Um, maybe there's some cauliflower in there, but mostly just frozen broccoli from the garden. Peaches, peaches stacked in here. These are all Saskatoon berries stacked. We picked 150 pounds of Saskatoon berries. These are frozen plums. My mom brought us from, my, from where she lives. More frozen plums. Um, more and in here is frozen kale. Um, there's probably some berries and cauliflower down there too. Um, these are huckleberries. We have less bags of huckleberries. They are very precious. They are really a pain to pick. Um, yeah, there's some bags of cauliflower down there. Frozen cauliflower. Cat, get away from those soup bones. You sassafras. And this box, oh, this is all frozen cauliflower here. So we got lots of cauliflower and broccoli this year from the garden. Um, there must be cabbage buried in one of these because we also have bag. oh, I bet you that's bags of cabbage in the bottom of there. It's kale and cabbage in that box and that's all the cauliflower. Um, peaches, more peaches, rhubarb from the garden. Peaches are something we can buy cheap. Blackberries that my mom brought me, the last precious bag buried there away from the children. So then these crates here, these like smaller bags. So this basket, we have some store-bought frozen fruit, mango and cherries. There's a bag of Saskatoons if the bag is broken. Sour cherries from our tree, currants from a friend's farm. Here, green beans from the garden, tomatoes. Like the, these are like the only tomatoes I got this year. Bag of carrot scraps that I use for um, broth, my in-laws can carrots and they peel all their carrots from the garden for it, so I took all the peelings. Frozen mixed veggies, frozen sliced onions, those are diced onions, these are my very favorite. Um, let's see here. More onions and some zucchini. Over here, we have sweet potato puree, I use this in baking and bread. Lots of zucchini shredded, more frozen vegetables. Spinach, um, broccoli. What am I looking for? These are garlic steaks. Here's what I'm looking for. We have quite a, a, a decent amount of these bags of frozen peas from the garden. More kale. I have a lot of zucchini, guys. I better get using zucchini. And these are mostly dried raspberries, but my mom freezes them too, and I will use them in some special treat. Um, wow, I need to use zucchini. Some butternut squash that was frozen and more garlic cake. So that is the fruits and vegetables freezer. Looks like I need to find a use for zucchini. I'm still working on this freezer, but I thought I would show you so far. 
So the bottom two boxes in that side box are all the beef that I showed you in the what's in half a cow video. And oh, there's a few cuts there and all the ground beef from that is there. But then we actually have another beef in our freezer. This is what you call like a burger cow. So it's a cow that for some reason couldn't be sold into the normal meat production from a friend's farm, but it's still a decent cow. So we get it for a song and we butcher it ourselves. So that's what this box is. That's all that burger cow um, that mostly then it just gets made into like ground and stew and braising roast. So there's also some of the ground beef from that. There's that, there's more of it right there. And so my goal is that this is gonna be the only beef freezer and this one is gonna be wild game and sausages and fish and pork. I don't know, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm not quite figured out what I'm doing here yet. I gotta see amounts. So the method to my madness right now, this is salmon, this is trout, more trout, moose sausages, grouse, pork, um, random chicken and fair smokies. This is smoked fish. This is some pork and chickens. Um, that's just garbage. Ignore this, that needs to be, it's a fire starter. Um, in here, what do we have in here? This is all more moose sausages. So in the freezer right now, what we have left is either like, this is ground venison from last year. Bear, hot dogs and smokies some ground beef from our last burger cow, so and a ham, and more moose sausages, and some of that other parts of that burger cow that I'm still working on sorting out this stuff here. So, how it's gonna end up is all the game and bear and pork is gonna be in here, I think. We got one more small freezer to deal with. Oh, uh, and then a stand-up freezer. Okay, so maybe I have a lot of freezers. I'm okay with this. I'm a good steward of my freezers. Rarely is there old stuff in our freezer. We make sure it's all rolling over. I pull everything out of the freezers a few times a year. There is no random things or 10 year old things in our freezers. It is all good food that we are eating. We're feeding our family and we're feeding a crowd on a regular basis. We just had a family of five cousins stay with us for the last two nights, three days. I didn't go to the grocery store and I fed them all and we ate good. So. This is why we have so many things. We use it all. It's just time to make sure we don't have extras around. And it's just a challenge. How long can I go without going to the grocery store? That's a fun thing. So Mac is here and helping me now. And one of the important reasons why we go through the freezer is guys, I found a package of ground moose. This is actually from 2017, not 71. It's not 50 years old. But I'm gonna put this on the top. There's also ground venison that's now from 2018 and I think a ground beef from 2017 so it's important for us to use these first even though we're really tempted to use the nice fresh ground beef it's important to use these first to be good stewards of our resources Mac is piling all, that was breakfast. <laughs> all the sausages into that crate. So I actually realized we have this smaller freezer over here and we have enough space that I can empty that one and unplug it so I'm starting to put this one back together now. We have bear pepperoni in here. We have some sausages in there. The rest of the sausages that we made this year are just all in the bottom of the freezer as well as there's some in that bag because we have enough, we don't need them accessible right now. These are all trout that Marius and his dad have caught. Marius guts them and freezes them and they save them until they have a pile and then they smoke them all and can or vacuum seal. Ham, this is all full of bear hot dogs or smokies and there's another box below there that has it too. This bag is pork. There's a bit of pork and smokies down below this basket. This basket is all smoked fish. So, next step is transferring stuff from the other freezer into this one. This is that ground meat that needs to be used up. We have a bit more chicken than this, but this is our chicken for the year. Grouse, uh, some more of that burger cow, unsmoked salmon, and um, this one is unsmoked salmon too. The other freezer is officially unplugged and this is what was in it. 
some pierogies which need to go up to the pre-made food freezer, some more of that burger cow, some soup bones, a bit more grouse, some pork hocks, those must be a little old. So I haven't bought pork in a while. You already saw that fish. Um, some pork from our last pig, some more chicken, <gasps> a pack of bacon from our last pig, amazing. In here we have a rabbit that really needs to be eaten. Some chicken, some lard that's all ground up and needs to be rendered. Um, some more of that burger cow, chicken, and then in here it's into like sausages we made in fall 2018. There's probably half a dozen packages of those in the bottom. Oh, 2017 shoey, we need to eat that up. But mostly 2018 sausages. And um, so that's why I put the fresh sausages on the bottom of this freezer. And these are gonna go on the top and this is what we need to eat first. Even though the other stuff is new and exciting, being a good steward of your resources is making sure that nothing goes bad. So, here's your final top look at what our big three freezers downstairs look like. So we actually still even have space in them, not that anything else is going in there this year. what this one looks like. There's a few things I know in the other freezer that need to come in here. And this one. Now, I'm gonna show you fridge freezers, which is where some of this is headed to, as well as the upright freezer. So, this one is now officially unplugged and I have it propped open to thaw. This is our milk fridge and also extra produce fridge and alcohol and all that fun things. This fridge freezer is unreliable. So all we keep in here, this fruit shouldn't be in here, is like ice packs and it's like some jam that didn't seal. And I'll keep butter in here. This is where these things go to because if they thaw, it's not the end of the world. So this fridge freezer doesn't really get much kept in it gonna go back to the fridge freezer sorry to the fruit freezer it's a bag of frozen strawberries so this is our upstairs fridge scooch by there ham Let's see so the fridge itself you know standard fridge sort of things Hamish go do your job all your all your clean laundry needs to be put away so this freezer is one of our most chaotic, and I'm for sure gonna find things that need to move to a different freezer. Every time I open it, I do. So, these donuts can go somewhere else. Um, Mary's keeps like fish bait in here, ice cubes. I can move this. This is for our meat grinder. This can go somewhere else. Pretty much, I regularly go through here and dung this out. Like, what could I take out? This bag of berries has a hole in it, so I'm gonna leave it here. Those muffins we're gonna have for breakfast in a couple days. Empty bag, what was in there? Nobody knows. Um, some jam bars, scraps for making soup broth, yeast, um, broken pack of Smokies, mozzarella. This is not wanting to stay open and it's driving me crazy because it always stays open. So I don't know why there's so many packs of Smokies in here, but those need to go. I cannot stand those in here, taking up space. I always keep mozzarella in here for pizzas. Oh, there's more donuts that need to go somewhere else. Uh, some sort of bait fishing. They're broken packs. Actually, an open pack of farmer sausage there. Fruit for smoothies always stays up here. Ice packs usually for lunch kits and whatever. More donuts, goodness guys, looks like we are donut, donut rich. Anyways, so this is pretty standard. I'm gonna move this elsewhere. Um, and these are some cookies, I'm gonna move them elsewhere too. Oh, there's the 
not broken pack Smokies. Uh, a bit of tomato sauce, some grouse legs, some raspberries. This freezer is all the random things, guys. All the random things. Beef bones that look like this. So yeah. Cilantro stems, that must be for broth that I put in there. What is this even, guys? I think that's cat food. It's like a random chunk of dried out fish. That's for the cat. Okay, so I already showed you what was up here, just ice cubes, nothing, that sort of thing. So, that's the, that freezer. Now I gotta go put these other things elsewhere. So our last freezer is out in our mudroom and our mudroom is unheated and it is cold and there's usually cats in it. Cats, get out of here. Get out of here, there's a cat door down there behind the freezer. So this is our upright freezer and this is what I call my pre-made food freezer. There's very little store-bought pre-made food but it's mostly anytime I have made extra, freezer meals, etc. This is where they go. So right now it's in a general state of disorganization. Let's see if we can knock some sense into it. Things look a lot better here now. We now have burgers, salmon patties, some cooked quinoa and cooked lentils, and some like wrappers for wontons. Taco meat. I don't even know why I have this. Chimichurri, ice cream. These are different vegan things. My mom eats plant-based. So this is some vegan cheese, vegan hot dogs, vegan burger patties for when we're having those things and she's here, because she's here often. These are different soups and broths, as well as these are different soups and broths. This is like beef dip with the sauce. Twice baked potatoes. My sister-in-law freezes raw milk from our cow. I'll link below. We make our own formula, and she does too, but she doesn't live here, so she freezes the milk and brings it with her. Pizza. Elderberry syrup that needs honey added to it. Donuts. Pierogies. Some more different broths and soups. This is all breads. There's probably half a dozen loaves of bread, small bag of bagels, waffles, pancakes. These are different casseroles, fried rice. Um, this is all things that are ready to eat so we could bring them with us to judo or town. Muffins, cookies, granola bars. And this is homemade pot stickers and pierogies and a thing of tortellini. Things that got pulled out. I froze these, flash froze them. They need to be bagged up. These are unbaked scones. Rex legs, two bags of Saskatoon berries, a bag of frozen bananas, ice cream drum, and the only thing that is getting chucked from this freezer is this is some cooked sausage that I did last year and it obviously got forgotten about, so the cats are gonna really enjoy this. Now this freezer is done. And my goal, I'd say, is to get this freezer emptied so we can defrost it, because as you can see, there's some buildup which happens in upright freezers. And one of the reasons we have a freezer thing on this, like alarm timer on the side, so that um, we can keep an eye on the temperature. Mm -hmm. 